Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I have spent many, many, many hours scraping gaskets off of cylinder heads and LS engine blocks. And I just learned a new trick today that I wanna share with you guys. So uh, without further ado, let me show you how you can clean cylinder heads and blocks ridiculously fast in your backyard without spending hardly any money. As always, thanks for checking out the sh channel. And yeah, here we go. And this is on a iron block LS engine. This is an aluminum cylinder head. And here's the stuff I'm using. It's called CRC Gasket Clean. And I just learned about this today. Just tried it out for the first time and I'm gonna show you how well it works. So here's the before condition of this head. Now, this is very easy to use. You essentially just spray it on. It's got to get a real good coating of it you can see it on there so we will let this sit for five or ten minutes and i'll come back take a look and i'll show you what it's doing all right our 10 minutes is up and zoom in here take a look this stuff is all starting to flake off so you take your razor blade look how well that worked so what I'll just continue doing here is essentially uh, got my razor blade, got a piece of uh, paper towel, and just really gently just kind of scrape this material off. You see, I just try to keep the razor blade super clean. Obviously, you don't want all of this junk getting everywhere. Now it goes without saying when you're doing this, you need to thoroughly, you know, thoroughly clean all the parts of an engine after. So if you're doing this in the car, it's going to be a lot harder to keep things clean. Now again, with this guy, it's an aluminum head. Uh, it's very susceptible to scratching. I've done this a lot of times, so I'm not very scared doing this. But if it's your first time doing it, just, just try to take things slow, you know? It's no rush. Uh, you know, in some cases, maybe you have to get the heads milled. Maybe you want to uh, check the gasket surface or something. So you may not even need to do this step if you're just going straight to a machine shop. But this is kind of meant for the backyard guy who's got an engine he's putting together. You know, just wants to get the job done, doesn't want to wait around at the machine shop, doesn't want to spend a bunch of money. All right, now we will grab some WD-40 and just give everything a light coat. Then we will take a piece of Scotch-Brite and just start lightly going over everything. Now again, I'm going super light pressure here. Most of the gasket material is off, so this is really just to pick up any of the last gasket material. All right, so obviously this head is not done. In fact, it is extremely dirty and needs valve springs, it needs guide steel. So the whole head is actually gonna get taken apart anyways. I just like to get the bulk of the prep work done before I start taking things apart. Just makes it easier and after everything is all cleaned up, then you know you don't have to worry about doing all this, making a mess and then re-cleaning it again. So the same process worked really well on the engine block and I'll show you that now. But all in all, if you're looking for a real quick and easy way to do it, get yourself some gasket remover because this stuff is unbelievable. Wow. Oops, where's the camera? There it is. That is nuts.
Alrighty, we've done a little more scotch breading, a little more brake cleaning. I'd say we're about 90% of the way. Uh, but all in all, I cannot believe how good this gasket maker stuff or uh, gasket remover stuff works. You can see there's, you know, one little spot here, maybe one little spot here I'll touch up with it. Uh, but all in all, wow, that is a wicked quick way to remove head gaskets off of your engine. So I hope this video has helped you guys out. And yeah, we'll check it out and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.